and then um just like you know it was just constant it was just the same every day like Thursday I was a mess uh, my sisters you know one of my sisters <laughs> dropped off Taco Bell Cinnabon delights with a balloon at my door because they knew it was my favorite my other sister you know ordered us pizza and I as my, luckily you know Dylan had an appetite because I didn't but Dylan basically ate all the food that people brought us I lost I, I think it was six I think it was almost seven pounds within three days because I just couldn't eat and um I I tried to stomach what I could to to do it for Hayden but I just anytime I ate I felt like I was gonna vomit and um so you know the weekend went by and on Saturday, you know, me and Dylan had been in the house from Wednesday from our appointment until Friday. And I was like, you know what? Like, I can't stay in this house and be upset. Like, I've done I've done it for three days. It's not helping. It's making everything worse. You know, we need to get out and do something. So Saturday, we went to Dylan's parents. I think it was Saturday. Might have been Sunday. It was all a blur. Um, but I want to say it was Saturday. We went to Dylan's parents' house and, oh my God, my back. Oh, jeez. Really need to find a better situation for these videos. Um, we went to Dylan's parents' house just to get our mind off of it. And we really enjoy going over there, um, just to hang out with them. And we were there for a couple hours, you know, and I was in better spirits, you know, I was like, I don't like in my deepest of deepest heart like I knew that Hayden was going to be okay and I was just trying to keep that in the front of my mind instead of the back of my mind and try and put all the negativity like to the side and just try and get better for Hayden mentally and physically and be able to eat something um and just in general just have like a better attitude about it and I was like, you know, there's a possibility that the doctor could call and, you know, we could get answers today. But if he doesn't, it's okay. Like, you know, I was just trying to be in better spirits. So I remember we were at his parents' house for a couple hours and I got up off the couch and I had laid my phone face side up for some reason. And I got up and I looked over because I was going to use the restroom. <laughs> Dallas is out. I can't. Um... I remember I looked down at my phone as I was getting up because I wasn't going to bring it with me to the bathroom, which is rare because I always bring my phone. Um, I looked down and this number had called and for a split second, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it's the doctor because I thought I had added his number in my phone, but I didn't. And I was like, Ugh. and Dylan was like, what? I was like, oh, I thought, you know, it was the doctor, but it's some like weird area code from, I think it was like Pittsburgh or something. He was like, that's where the doctor told us he was from. Like, that's his cell phone number. And I was like, what? So I like hurry and pick it up. And I like fly to the hallway because I, you know, if I got bad results, you know, regardless, it, we would have dealt with it. Um, but I didn't want to be in front of anybody. You know, I wanted to be alone. So I ran to the bathroom and I heard, hey, Rachel, you know, it's Dr. So-and-so um, calling back with your results. And I could tell in his voice that it was going to be good news just from like the upbeat that he you know he was talking in he was like just got your results back in everything is normal and i remember when he said that me dylan like ran you know because as soon as i ran to the hallway dylan you know followed behind me and dylan was like is it okay like what is he saying what's happening like whispering and i'm like you know like I was like trying to listen to him trying to talk I'm like he, it's good you know and the, and the doctor is like this is all the results from the fish test so he doesn't have down syndrome there's no trisomy issues there's no chromosome issues you know he is he's fine he's like we still you know have to do the additional testing just for any you know crazy infection he might have that could be causing this or anything um else that we you know could possibly see as a concern but all of the things that you guys were worried about he is fine and I was like okay like thank you so much you know thank you for calling he was like enjoy your weekend and I'm gonna have a glass of wine for you and I was like okay like thank you and so I hung up the phone and I was like Dylan like Hayden's gonna be okay 
and Dylan literally just like collapsed in my arms and he just collapsed in my arms and started crying and um me and him and, and his mom were like in the hallway like in a huddle just like crying you know just so so happy that um you know our prayers were answered and that Hayden was gonna be okay and um so then I, I run to the guest room in their house so I can call my mom nobody's answering their phones um so I called my mom's husband my stepdad and I'm like where is my mom you know like I we got the results and like everything's okay and he was like oh my gosh like she's at breakfast in another county like she probably doesn't have a service and I'm like well tell her to call me <laughs> you know like I need to talk to her so I ended up texting like you know my sisters in the text and I was like I got the results back like they're fine you know everything's fine and one of my sisters was like, oh my God, like I'm in the Wendy's drive through like I'm crying. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like I had to tell somebody, you know? So we were over the moon. Like all of my worries were just lifted. I, I honestly feel like the world was lifted off my shoulders. And I, it is a feeling that I will never forget. And I feel like I was able to enjoy the rest of my pregnancy. And, you know, they ended up calling us back a couple weeks later, saying all the other testing that they did was normal. Um, but it's just like pr protocol to do a follow up at 28 weeks just to see, you know, how the brain is and how the kidneys are. Because even though Hayden didn't have any of the crazy syndromes that we were worried about, he could still have, you know, potential kidney problems or brain problems, which we were ready to deal with. Um, even the doctor was like, the only thing that might be a concern is the kidneys because those were so much more enlarged than normal. But his brain is fine. His brain was literally like 0.3 millimeters over the normal. With millimeters, like it's tiny. He was like, but we have to follow up just to, you know, be sure like that's just protocol, like protocol so our 28 week appointment was last week no two weeks ago maybe two weeks ago no the 16th so what's today 28th yeah so almost two weeks ago um we had our follow-up in the we went back to the or orlando office he was like you have an option to go to your OB or you can come to us. I was like, no, I'm coming to you because you guys were amazing in just understanding and you were efficient and nice and relatable and like, I'm coming to you. So we made the hour long drive. This time it was just me and Dylan because his mom was sick. Um, and we got there and we got the cutest pictures of Hayden. And um, last time we had went, like it was almost six weeks no, it was eight weeks. It was eight weeks prior. So we had to wait eight weeks to go back. Um, Hayden was not cooperating with the camera. Like we wanted face pictures of him and he was like face down turning like mm, not having it. And so this time he was like ready to go. We had so many pictures of him. He looks just like Dylan. It is at first I was like, man, you know, but then I'm like, it's freaking precious you know like he is his dad's twin to the t like the lips the chin the cheeks everything um so we got really good pictures and you know the lady did her normal sonogram measured all of the things that they were looking for and for his gestational age at the time which when we went i was 28 weeks exactly his brain went from a 10.8 millimeter which remember it's supposed to be under 10 went from 10.8 at our original appointment in august to now a 0 0.7 which is like spot on what it's supposed to be and his kidneys went from um 5.2 um on his right side and 6.2 on the left which at the time was like severely over because we were 20 weeks at the time to now um when i went at 28 weeks 
one was at 6.8, which it has to be under seven. And then the, the other one was at 7.1. So even though one of them was, it's still one millimeter over like what the normal is, the doctor was like, there's nothing wrong with your child. Like his brain is fine. His kidneys are fine. Like the only thing you'll have to do from this point on is just get an additional sonogram at 34 weeks just to make sure he's measuring right and like you're fine like nothing is wrong and those words were like what we were waiting for because or I guess not really me I would say Dylan he is a worrier as am I um but he was a little bit more worried that we were going to get bad news again because for the past three sonograms we've had like it's been kind of bad so when he said that it was like Dylan had emerged you know like my old Dylan was back and that made me really, really happy because, you know, I could tell he was trying to be supportive for me, but um, he just wasn't himself. And I mean, and neither was I, you know, but I was just, we were so, so, so thankful and grateful. And I had so many people praying and reaching out to me during that time. It was really encouraging and lots of people, um, actually I had a few people reach out to me that said they went through a similar situation, which that really helped ease my concern and my worry because not a lot of people talk about these things that happen. They just deal with them and then, you know, act like nothing ever, not act like nothing ever happened, but like the normal person doesn't know that these things can happen, you know? So that's what kind of prompted me to make this video was I don't know if there's somebody out there watching this who is going through a similar situation or maybe not even have the same issues that Hayden had, but just got bad news on an ultrasound or a doctor's appointment. My best advice I can give that I wish I would have given myself is just let it be. Like let whatever happens happen and that is what is meant to be. And just do all you can to stay positive and stay healthy and just pray and have faith that everything will work out how it's supposed to. Because that was the only thing that got me through like the last couple days before we found out, you know, the good news. Um, I really just felt obligated to share this. Like I said, I don't know for what reason. Like I said, maybe maybe someone's going through something similar. Um, but I, I'm really glad... Um, that a lot of people wanted to hear it. I was worried that everyone would be like, no, you know, not really interested. But then I felt like, you know, it's something that's not a very common thing. And that if someone somewhere were to have a similar thing happen, it would be reassuring for them. You know, and it like, I was talking to my friend and she was like, you know, not everyone is going to have the outcome that you had. Some people may have, you know, a, not as good of news but you make the best of it. You know, you make do with what is given to you in life and you you make the best of it. And just know that in the end, it's gonna be okay. You know, whatever the outcome is, like it will be okay. And I just thought that this would be a good video to share with you guys to kind of let you know what's been going on in my life and how I dealt with it and what's came up up from it since then. And I'm really glad that I have an opportunity to share that with people. Um, I know this was a very different video. I tried my best to not cry as best I could, which I think I did a pretty good job because I haven't really thought or dealt with these emotions about the situation until now, you know, like I've thought about them, but I haven't like talked about it. So, um, I know this was different and it's like kind of weird to end it, but I hope that you guys got something from this video, whatever it may be. And I hope you guys have a amazing week. I am actually, um, waiting for Dylan to wake up because we have our hospital tour, um, in a couple hours. So we're really excited about that and, um, to get to see the hospital I'm going to be delivering at in the room and, um, it's going to make it seem really real. So I am going to leave or end the video on this note and I love you guys and thank you for listening and being here for me and I will talk to you later.